we are focusing on Tom Ford and Terry Richardson. Tom Ford is an American fashion designer, film producer, film director, and screenwriter. He became popular from working as creative director for Gucci and Yves Saint Laurent. He gained experience and helped create some of their famous advertisements, which are now banned to its current day. Here are some examples. Uh, this was the starting point of his advertisement theme. In 2006, he launched his own label called Tom Ford. In 2007, he came up with his first fragrance, which caused controversy, controversy due to the explicit content of his images. Um, and this is the advert we'll be focusing on. So, um, the first shoot for this fragrance was actually shot by Marilyn Minter, but these photos weren't actually released. Um, so while Tom Ford and Dave Richardson were away in Milan, they decided that a sharper, more graphic approach communicated the bold and provocative mood of the fragrance better. The campaign was released in 2007 in men's magazines, including GQ and Wallpaper, to, to promote the launch of Tom Ford's first fragrance. It was banned due to the explicit content of the images. So it suggests that if the fragrance is worn, you'll be more attracted to women. It portrays images, image that sex sells and brings the connotations that if you wear the aftershave, you'll get female attention. This is highlight the bold smell of the fragrance. The fragrance clearly emphasises that it is for men, due to a woman being exposed. However, this could be seen as homosexual, because not all men are attracted to women. Um, put your hands up if you think that this could be seen as homosexual. Anyone? Can you repeat the question? Um, do you think that this advert could be seen as homosexual because not all men like women like, are attracted to women in that way? So, this is a quote from Tom Ford. He said, The thing is, you can't show male nudity in our culture in the way you can show female nudity. We may come to a world's culture exploiting women but not men. This shows that he isn't just trying to be homosexual but rather confined to cultural norms. So, men have banned advertisements. Um, by Tom Ford, actually shot by the same photographer, which is Terry Richardson. Uh, Terry Richardson is an American fashion and portrait photographer, known for his sexually explicit advertisement campaigns. However, alongside his pornographic photography, he is also known for his photography of famous faces, including Barack Obama, Miley Cyrus, Rihanna. They all look really similar with the white background and just focus on the face. Okay, so here's some more examples of his work. Uh, this advert idolises. Uh, this advert idolises the idea of drugs. However, its deeper meaning is that fashion is addictive, especially in younger generations wanting to look cool. Sicily is focused towards the younger generation, which could highlight the use of younger-looking models. So, drugs hold illegal connotations. The use of snorting drug implies that this brand is rebellious, so they're provocative due to the sipping of the drug. Therefore. Uh, therefore, it represents, it represents the, the rebellious nature of the clothes that seems to be aimed towards partying and youth culture. Um, so, he was provided the likes of Marc Jacobs, Aldo Supreme, Sicily, Tom Ford, and Issa Laurent. Out of these brands, the most explicit are from Sicily, Tom Ford, and Issa Laurent. In general, though, um, so these are some of the Supreme clothing. Um, that advertisement. So, in general, Supreme don't include much sexuality in their campaigns. They're normally playing like white backgrounds like this and just like men wearing the clothes. Um, however, with collaborations with Terry Richardson, they become very controversial. Supreme is, more, is generally more focused at a male audience, although streetwear is starting to be adopted by women. The use of male models and sizing shows this focus. Um, Supreme ads are normally simple or non existent. But with the collaboration of Terry Richardson, an ad was created that differed from Supreme's normal way of advertising, and this highlights his, Terry Richardson's influence on the brand's image and how he impacts the advertising. So Terry Richardson has had many influences on fashion brands, as you've seen, he's done um, for, uh, probably for uh, Issa Laurent, Gucci, Tom Ford, Sicily, Supreme. Um, so he's been put on the spotlight as well for his and just bear in mind, he's actually given the name of the most popular type of fashion photographer in the world um, from an article in the New York Times.
there is a video basically talks about um, Hey Rich and how he's been accused of like sexually assaulting models he's worked with. Um, Peggy, 18. Is it long? Because you're on five minutes. It's like a minute long. Publications like Vogue have stopped working with Richardson entirely, whose famed aesthetic has bring countless celebrities and has been featured in some of the largest magazines in the world. For his part, Richardson previously rebuked the accusations against him in a May 2014 Huffington Post piece, explaining, I have never used an offer of work or a threat of review to coerce someone into something they did not want to do. I give everyone that I work with enough respect to view them as having ownership of their free will and making their decisions accordingly. And as such, it has been difficult to see myself as a target of revisionist history. Sadly, in the ongoing quest for controversy generated page views, sloppy journalism fueled by sensationalized, malicious, and manipulative recountings of this work has given rise to angry internet crusades. Well intentioned or not, they are based on lies. Richardson does not yet appear to have responded to the most recent allegations. That's the news for now, but for more on this developing story, keep it locked right here to Complex News. Okay, so